Hi, I'm Will Tiao. I'm the producer of the film Foremost of Be Trade. I have with me our director, Adam Kane. Hey, guys. As well as one of the actors in the film. He plays Minister Kuo. His name is Tai Ma. Hey, world. How you doing? Uh, so, Adam and I are going to do a little tag team question and answer session with Tai and talk Q&A about... sandwich. That's right. Here we are. Bring it. <laughs> so, Tai, talk to the audience about how you got involved in this. Uh, read the script, loved it, and said, yes, I would do it, but I didn't know which role. <laughs> it was really interesting, but I finally, I think, we settled on uh, Minister Kuo, and Kuo, as they say, the normal, what, what do you call them? Uh, when you Proceeds. say Kuo and Kuo, that's, that's, Kuo is what? Kuo is the proper way, and yeah. Kuo is the... The Americanized the way. The American, <laughs> Western Americanized yes. way of, of pronouncing, and, and we felt that that was the role that... Uh, was probably better prepared for, and it's very interesting. It kind of makes the movie go to a direction we want it to go to tell the story that needs to be told. Um, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of discussion about at the beginning about which part you were going to play. Uh, to your point, yes. As at one point, I think you wanted to play uh, the, the role that Kenny sang played, which was the general. Yes, and also the professor. I was just greedy, man. You I was, I, I was all those roles. I said, Adam, yeah. can we dress me up differently? I'm going to like, put some makeup on. I don't know, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Tyler Perry can do Medea. I can certainly do the general and the professor. Now, talk to me about Tell me, tell me why you wanted to play the professor. You know, because I felt that the professor had the best speech in the film. My, my personal feeling. Because he was able to talk about, you know, the involvement of, of the time, who was who was being persecuted, he and, and it was written so well that you didn't feel like you were preached to, you know, or, or or talk at. So I really wanted to do that. And then Will was going, but that's just one scene. You only got one scene. And I was going like, but that's a really good scene, though. <laughs> but but really, I mean, ultimately, you know, of course, you know, Minister Guo was definitely the role that uh, that uh, it be became something. I I, I kind of got. Um, uh, how do I say? Um, uh, I can't. Is that how do you, how do you say? Uh, um, kind of felt the DNA yeah. of Minister Kuo, yes. you know, as time went, and and particularly when when I got the translation in uh, in Mandarin. Right. Boy, I tell you, it sounds really different in Chinese yeah. than the English. You know, the translation. Mm -hmm. So there's something to be said about you know translation in terms of the English and Chinese. I think the the, the subtitles are okay. Yeah. But boy, if you understand in Chinese, that's a serious speech, man. That's really cool. What's What's fun about his speech? He has this long speech in Mandarin that's really critical to the film, and um, our editors edited it so much. Who are both, you know, American Western, they don't know how to speak Chinese, but they could nail your speech down. <laughs> well, because it's all about feeling, and that's what it brought to it. And, and there's there's a great responsibility. Yes. With mm -hmm. that um, depiction of this character that we were really, really intent on getting, and that's mm -hmm. why we were so happy to have you agree to do that role. And you, you put a lot of work into that, uh, making sure that the, that the verbiage and the dialogue working with us and, and the screenwriter to make sure that we fine-tuned it in a way that really represented what that character's role was in this very, very complicated uh, relationship. Uh, between somebody who's representing the government and trying to be a diplomat at the same time. You know what? This dude's being modest, okay? <laughs> the way he shot the scene, it was brilliant because he never stopped. He had this camera moving in and out, sideways, backwards. I mean, it was everywhere. There was no chance for me to think about it. So either I was ready to go, I was not ready to go. So I was hoping that I was ready to go. So <laughs> now, that was Let it. me ask you a question because, yes. you know, there have actually been some people who have compared the, the film to another film that you've done mm. called The Quiet America. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about how your experience on that was compared to Foremost to Betrayed. I think the, the, uh, the intent of the film was, you know, was very similar. In a sense, it was telling a story that most of us don't know. Mm -hmm. And we take it for granted that we do know. You know, Taiwan, and what is Taiwan, and what was Vietnam at the time when the Americans first moved into to that country. So I think in, this, in that sense, it was a story that was begging to be told, and now finally it's on the screen. Hopefully you guys will come and check it out and see it, and you'll love it. I know it.
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Time Moss, so Appreciate much it. for your time. Uh, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you on the big screen. Thank, thank you. you, my friend. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, it. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for making me look good. <laughs> you all better go see it. I'm telling you now. It's so cool. You heard it from the man. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Right thank on. you, guys. See thank you. Again. you.